Hadi, hadi, hadi. It's Riz Corelli, but you already knew that because you're the best. I'm here, as always, with PrivateHipHop.com. It's my day job. I'm not here alone, though. We've been shot in Texas, and we've landed here in Galveston. We've been here for a couple days. We've been putting in that work. This is family. This is the cypher. And this is what it is. Go ahead and let them know who you are, where you're at, and where, they, and where you're from. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me here. Uh, my name is Mikey J. C. I am from Honduras. I was born in Honduras. I currently live in Houston, Texas. I was raised in Houston. I do music from here. That's where I stay at right now. Will Galveston at the moment, but that's where I stay at in Houston. Uh, you guys can find me on every single page as Mikey J C M I K E Y J C underscore H N. That's on all the social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter. Well, there you go. Shit, there you go. You've been putting on the entire time you've been here. You've been super high energy, super talented. I wish I spoke Spanish because I know when you've been spitting, you've been having a lot to say. You've been telling us you've had a lot to say. And I believe you. I believe you, gosh darn it. And I just wish that I could. I'd be, I'd be getting the gist of it. But I want to know every word. Let me know a little bit how you've been pouring into your music this weekend and a little bit more about the music you've made here while we've been locked in in Galveston. Oh, yeah, I, re I really got time to connect with all the artists in here. I, m I met all the people that are amazing. They can make music. They, uh, man, they can hop on any beat. They're, they're artists that I didn't have the chance to meet before because I didn't move around Houston, like outside. But now we're going to start doing this because I really, I really felt the vibe. That I like this, you know. I, I got to uh, uh, work with all the artists that I never thought I would work with, and it came out good. You know, even though Cat is in the same label that I'm in, I, we never worked, and we got the time to work together in, in this in this place for the first time. You know, so mm -hmm. so that kind of that kind of came out good. And uh, like my music used to be based on the streets. I used to talk about the streets. It was like trap. I was focused more on trap. I've been changing now. Uh, it's not that I don't talk about the streets anymore. It's just I express it a little bit different. You mm -hmm. know, I express. I don't enforce what's going on. I just let them know what happened. Right, you know, told, like your story. story. Yeah, so I'm more like a, I'm, I'm telling stories always on my songs. I got something to tell. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I wish you guys understand what I'm saying, but soon I'll, I'll put some, tra uh, subs, <laughs> some trans, uh, translate that my, my lyrics in, in the video so you guys can understand. We'd appreciate the subtitles. Is that <laughs> the story you were telling, sort of this reemergence and this sort of uh, different view on your history? Is this a story you were telling on your most recent album that just dropped? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually, like I said, uh, um, I wanted to do my last, the last album I just dropped is called Versa King. I meant that because all the songs in that album is actually a different style. It's different, totally different than the other. Uh, every single one of them has a different story to tell. I met some for the ladies, some for the club, but I kind of had some songs in there like Sueños Apagados, which means uh, uh, like uh, extinct dreams, like your dreams unfinished, unaccomplished dreams. And yeah. I have that song right there, and I, that kind of gives a little run up on my life and how I feel, you know, towards what that music does to me and what how it affects my, my, my life and how it helps me. Mm, that, you did your raw session to that today, huh? I did my raw session. That shit was dope. Yeah, 100%. No, it was dope. It was dope. It was such a pleasure to get you to watch that and that, that yeah. raw. You could just feel that raw emotion. Um, tell me a little bit more how, how you prepped up to do that raw session with us. Uh, it was actually my first raw session. I'm glad it was with you guys. I appreciate that. Private Hip Hop, that shit was dope. That, that was the first time I've done that, and and I felt it. I wish I could do more of that. But well, you definitely can. Definitely slide down onto Waco. We're, we're there. We're there. We're there. 42426 Columbus Avenue. <laughs> so, yeah, it was kind of nervous. I was nervous. You know, every, I'm always nervous before I do something that it has to do with my lyrics. You know, even though some artists act like they're not nervous, we all, we all just... We all just uh, show it differently, you know. Mm -hmm. And I try to use it like for my own good. I try to express it when I when I'm talking and when I'm when I'm spinning my bars. But even though I was nervous, I felt like I did good. I felt like I connect every single bar on the beat. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, that show was dope. One hundred percent. No, it definitely is. You can definitely tell that you have a lot of attention to detail to your craft and something you obviously care a lot about. Um, I know that you have to wiggle out of here a little, a little sooner than the rest of us, and yes. we're so sorry to see you go. If you had to take one thing with you from the house that we've been staying in, <laughs> if you had to take one thing with you, 
when you sneak out of here tonight, what what thing do you think you're you're pocketing? <laughs> hypothetically, 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 what what thing you think you're taking with you? I'm taking them. I'm taking the trays. I need I need to roll on some. <laughs> I'm taking the wheat tray, them cookie trays. That that red one right there. I'm looking at that. <laughs> No, yeah. a, that's a good answer because I'm looking over there. I see bottles. I see. I yeah, see. I, don't want the I see wraps. I see. There's plenty of stuff to, you know, it's sticky fingers, sticky fingers. I need that uh, tray right but, there. But I don't condone. <laughs> I don't condone. Fingers should only be sticky from rolling. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, because you have to wiggle out, wiggle out of here a little sooner. I don't want to keep you here all night. Let yeah. them know one more time where they can fuck with you at. Hey, I appreciate you for having me here. And yeah, you guys can find me on Instagram and every platform as Mikey J C M I. K E I, I mean, I'm sorry. M I K E I J C underscore H N. You can find me everywhere Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, anywhere. You know what I'm talking about? Everywhere, y'all, and definitely do. Y'all already know where you can fuck with me at, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I've been Riz Scarelli. Tap in with me at privatehiphop.com. I've been a delight. You've been a delight. We're gonna go have a good night. Good night.